Golf tournaments teeing off across the state this morning with our Class A and B teams in action. Our final state tournaments of the school year in North Dakota. Our Class B teams competing a little bit closer to home, teeing off at Boyd Sioux Golf Course in Wapaton. It was an early day for some of our golfers too. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. starting tee time for the first few. We're going to pick up the action in the back nine on the Minnesota side of the course. We have Carter Walner from Lisbon. Check out this approach here on the 11th green. Ball just misses the pin, bringing the putter out now. This shot to save par, and he's going to nail it from short distance. First to finish from his group here. Continuing to Zachary Johnson of Kindred. He's just off the green on an incline. Tough shot, a hair too strong, but he does save par on the next shot going back the other way. This one perfect. Back to the 10th hole now. Everett D Dutchuk from Beulah skies this one into the fairway. Ball stays rolling up and over the hill. Just bounces onto the green and within sight of the hole. What an approach. All he has to do is two putt it from there for par. Now we're going to have more from tomorrow's championships round and stay tuned tonight for some Class A action from Bismarck. Time for some baseball action in Purim now. The Section 8 championship on the line this afternoon. The Yellow Jackets hosting Dilworth Glendon Felton, who beat East Grand Forks earlier in the day to advance. Purim opening up the scoring in the bottom of the first. Evan Kovash blasts this one in the left field. The ball sneaks past the glove and keeps on rolling. Gamble by makes it home. We have a 1 0 game. DGF threatening to score now. They have runners in position in the top of the second. The Kovash gets out of the jam here, striking the batter out swinging to retire the side. Into the third inning we go. Still a 1 0 game, but not for much longer. Austin Schmelz with a blast to get to the gap deep in left field. Gage Onnesen gets the green light around third and comes all the way back home, doubling that Yellow Jacket lead. And Purim has officially punched their ticket to state, winning the Section 8 title with this 7-0 win. The boyhood dream hasn't ended yet for former Bison tight end Ben Ellison. Just days after he announced that he'd be retiring as a player, the Vikings announced that the Holly native will stay on board as a coach. Head coach Kevin O'Connell said that Ellison would join the staff in a hybrid role to get his introduction into the world of coaching. He also hinted that Ellison could have a role in scouting as well, getting to stay with his homegrown team, his favorite team growing up. Holly, UND, Vikings, more Vikings. He's, he's <laughs> staying here. Exactly. He, he loves the area. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, Hutch is back in with one more look at your forecast. And those kind of storms keeping popping up, Hutch. Speaking of popping up, look at this old towering cumulonimbus cloud. You're looking off to a northeasterly direction from our home of economy location in Devil's Lake. So they're hitting miss storms here and there, not impacting a big area. But when they do, they're dumping out some very heavy rain locally and some gusty wind that has caused some damage as we showed you in some photos earlier snapping some trees. A few moving into North Fargo and the Harwood area. These are moving in the general direction of Fargo Moorhead right now, but only at about 15 miles per hour. 1.66 inches reported from our friendly viewer in Glendon in 45 minutes and it matches up exactly with the precip estimates from the radar. We'll keep you posted. Almost like you called it. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> See you at 10. So you want rain. <laughs>